Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. So grab your tea, grab your tree, grab your jinx, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable because this reading is going to be juicy. It's going to be spicy. We're sitting in the black dark moon Lilith right now. Okay. She is re um, erect. <laughs> she is erect with Leo. <laughs> Fuck, it's so funny. She's in the, the Leo sign right now. So what's that saying is that the dark feminine is rising. So you're not giving a flying fuck about who or what is getting in your way. You know what you need to do, who you need to eliminate to get there, and you're going forward. It's beautiful, guys. <laughs> That's what this beautiful new moon is going on right now for us the energies and also Venus is aligned with the sun right now so she's not in the sky we can't see her so it's considered the underworld that Venus is in so her heart is kind of going through some shit as retrograde seeing and um, processing the past and what needs to be eliminated in order to move forward a lot of leveling up is going on around us but it has nothing to do with financial level ups guys it's about the alignment of the planets this is what's beautiful so come the 21st venus will now be the morning star <laughs> it's really time to shine our light to speak authentically and be who you are <laughs> in spite of all the disapproval of others guys you know who you are and Lilith is showing this. So grab your tea, grab your tea, grab your drink, do whatever you need to do to get comfortable. I'm spilling the tea straight, no chase. I love you guys. Thank you for all the likes, comments, subscriptions, and donations over the past little while. Everything is appreciated and never gets unseen. Okay? I love you, spirit guides, ancestors, oracles of the highest white light. I call you Zen and I'm asking for a clear, precise channel message during this beautiful new moon energy and all these retrogrades. Don't forget, we got. Mercury retrograde coming. So we're in the shadow phase, uh, the pre shadow phase of Mer Mercury retrograde. So we're getting ready, like all the things from the past are just coming up. What's at the floor? The floor is the Five of Cups, guys. You're no longer dwelling on the past. You don't give a flying fuck about what the fuck is going on around you. You got two cups, two cups internally. When you're by yourself, that's when it matters most. What you do in the dark is what matters the most. <laughs> and that's what you're realizing, that these third parties or people who are in group settings or, you know, stuff like this, like people who idolize um and group up and team and these kind of things it's very lack it's all lack it's lack of self-love is what that comes down to and why are you gonna associate yourself with that kind of environment when you have two full cups no no we got choices <laughs> we got choices guys you got choices that's what you're saying i got choices no i'm not doing this bottom of the deck is the world in reverse now there's a lot of people who feel like there's an incompletion with you because you got motherfucking choices <laughs> come on man fuck for real this is what that fucking dark lilith does like she really does wear up that confidence be like are you serious yo don't underestimate my gifts because i know who i am and this is exactly what my collective is saying that's why you're sitting in that five of cups in reverse so people think like oh well i feel incomplete or or she's not helping me Yo, people don't want you to move forward. People don't want you to work on your things. And people don't want you to be aimlessly wandering. And you're like, listen, you know, what the fuck is going on with you? Why would you do that? There's someone that's going on here. And I hope that this doesn't happen to you. But unfortunately, this is what's happening. People aren't doing the work. They're aimlessly wandering. Now, this isn't financially. I already told you. We're talking about alignments here. We're talking about planetary shifts and the sun. The wheel of fucking fortune, baby. We're talking about the wheel of fortune. We're talking about karma. We're talking about legacy, destiny, chance, faith. We're talking about the whole fucking real deal, fucking what you don't see in your motherfucking face. This is what we're talking about. And you ain't dealing with people who have empty cups. No fulfillment internally. Alienate. Make people feel bad about other people to make themselves feel good about themselves. Like, what? What the fuck? No, we ain't doing this. Nope. <laughs> and somebody really doesn't want you to work at something, but you sit here with the wheel of fortune, knowing your life has cycles, knowing we're not always going to be at the bottom and we're never uh, always going to stay at the top. So, hmm, I think it's about learning and loving, no? 
and somebody ain't loving on you, motherfucker, they want you to be trapped, and you're like, listen, I'm getting the fuck out of here before shit gets real fucking real, and then my ancestors come in and whip shit up, yo, you are fucking speaking truth, you're going like a bat out of hell, like, fuck, I don't need no fucking explanations, yo, you are the page of Pent uh, Knight of Pentacles, so somebody is coming in with an offer, their third party, somebody wants to celebrate with you, because you are the fucking, you're the you a chariot. You move forward away from these fucking Jezebel spirits. You ain't fucking dealing with this. Nope. You see it. You call it. It is what it is. Peace. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. That's a death transformation, bitch. Who's the fucking muse? You are. I <laughs> love it. Remember who you are. <sighs> Major transformation. Somebody really shouldn't have played games with you because you do the work. And that's what gives you power. That's what gives you strength. There's a lot of betrayal here. A lot of abandonment. A lot of issues of rock bottom energy. This is what you put to death a long time ago. So, whatever. I, you, you know you're spotting people's life. Right? Your fucking feelings ain't getting hurt. Or why? Because you're these the hey man in the upright. I mean, people are enlightened. They're stuck. They ain't got shit to do. They got nowhere to go. They stop. They're enlightened. People are haunted by their own motherfucking choices because they go up against an earth angel, earthbound spirit here to guide people with a higher power. 616 on my clock. You are love and you're doing it all by yourself. Holy fuck, you're dangerous. I love this collective I'm tapping into right now because you really have let go of the burden. You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. It's the Ten of Pentacles with the, the moon. You don't care because you know your legacy lies within the source. You know there's a lot in the dark about this legacy. You know that you have faith in a bigger, higher power. And these emotions, these hidden things in the dark, these darker energies with this dark moon, because a lot of people use this dark moon for darker things, but then they don't realize that in this energy, that energy that you send automatically comes right back to that person. So stupid shit ha starts happening. And then you're like, oh, well, what, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, pay attention. Pay fucking attention. Because there is a, no fucking thing as fun motherfucking coincidence. So talk your shit, whatever, man. Mm -hmm. But you be healing. A lot of people need to heal. And then they get mad at you because you're like, Bitch, I know what's in the dark, because I sit there every day. <laughs> Yo. This, these narcissistic people, I don't know, maybe you want to watch that reading from this morning. Like, for real, guys. These narcissistic people, they have no passion, no drive, no spunk. They can't get it up for life. And they're mad that you, you just, like, you heal from all this fucking shit. Like, you heal from all this shit, man. The sun and the moon is there. You're very balanced. Masculine and feminine. You're doing this love thing all by yourself. <laughs> and you're ripping people's masks off that are judging you falsely. Like, there's a lot of people judging you falsely because they're sitting in falsely. It's a, it's a terrible situation when it comes to this Queen of Swords in reverse. And now I can understand this Queen of Swords. I can be a bitch. <laughs> and then I own it, like I said. That's even worse. Like, it's a worse bitch because I can own it. <laughs> yeah. It gets it gets awful. And that's why we gotta check ourselves. Especially under this moon. Because then we can get really, really, really crazy. Especially when we know people are trying to block us. It is what it is, guys. You know, you feel it. You see it. Especially when good things are happening for you and the people around you are like hateful and miserable and it's like, oh okay. Or when you speak your truth about something that's legitified, legitimately real like it that there's proof over and over and over you can prove that this is the truth but there's so many saying oh well you're supposed to brush that under the rug you're not supposed to say anything just because you know that's the truth doesn't mean you're supposed to say anything oh so i'm supposed to just let a bunch of jezebels be stupid okay but why are you gonna do it in front of my face and you think i'm not gonna say anything bitch i'm get the fuck out of here <laughs> So what the fuck are you doing? Because, yo, you know better. It's a fucking dark moon. I might as fucking tear shit up if you want. You go and heal. Because <laughs> you know people are fucking just betraying their motherfucking self. Because believe me, as soon as they fucking do, that shit fucking starts going crazy on them. Like, the whole world starts falling. That's why the world was in reverse, right? Yo, because they're emotionally manipulative. 
and then they get mad at you because call it what it is could be a cancer scorpio pisces takes it as it resonates this person is a fucking mental case they believe their own fucking lies and then when the truth is there they don't want you to tell it because it can't, it's gonna shatter their fucking world their ego and it's gonna make everybody else too because they live in some fantasy motherfucking world man i fucking stupid <laughs> i won't live there 10 10 on my motherfucking clock it's divine timing that everybody wake the fuck up and move the fuck away from this jezebel motherfucking spirits no, it's not there anymore, bitch is hiding. <laughs> yeah, because you moved forward. Already in the past, you moved away from this shit. Now you're moving forward towards Golden Ticket. Why is the choice, man? Don't watch your fucking choices. Watch what the fuck you talk about. You don't know who the fuck's ranked in the fucking spirit world, and that's the problem. Look, hermit, that's the motherfucking problem. Your ranking fucks people up. You're sitting here in a fucking hermit and the upright, like, try me, bitch. I'm the fucking star. The star in the motherfucking dark. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what's on this side yeah that's the moon baby that's dark moon lilith man she's fucking rearing her head in this fucking in this leo energy like i'm telling you man this full this new moon in leo is crazy it is crazy and it's showing you that you got the power inside of you to defeat anybody who comes up towards you man the tower is in reverse for a lot of people people refuse Refuse, refuse, refuse the calling, refuse to see the truth, refuse to see the, the, the coincidences and the circumstances for the situation, refuse to take accountability and then continuously keep gaslighting and projecting a lot of shit onto a lot of innocent people. Well, then guess what, bitch? You can't come back from that. Go fuck up. Some people want to celebrate that too because, you know, there's a lot more people doing that. <laughs> but you're sitting here as the motherfucking emperor. Or there's an emperor, a boss CEO, independent contractor. But it looks like, like you said, you're loving doing this love thing all by yourself. <laughs> you are the emperor, yo. <laughs> you got high rankings. Somebody's coming in. Or maybe you have moved away. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But that Knight of Pentacles is talking about the slowest moving night. So it's like whatever you have accomplished, it took you a while. But it's only because of these two of cups energies in reverse, these very codependent, very narcissistic, very karmic energies, friends, family, acquaintances, whatever, trying to hold you back. Yo, you're out of this bird. They ain't fucking, they can't hold you back. And to top it off, they can't get no messages through. So it's like oil and water. Yo, you got a big, beautiful white light around you and you're fucking, you are the, the dark feminine right now. Like you try me, bitch. Try me. You guys should look it up what the dark feminine is, okay? Because Lilith isn't a bad thing. Like, listen, I I got um, a call for emergency reading today. So I left and I went to go do the reading. But this is how Source protects me. It's so fucking beautiful, okay? While somebody was talking shit in the background about me, I got a phone call. And it was a client asking that she wanted some merch and she needed a reading. And I was like, all right fine but because i felt the energy i was like okay gives me a reason to get out of here you know but i didn't it, i didn't think of how big of a deal it was until later on i find out that um when i did cause us think about something like actually tell the truth one of my grandmother's painting pictures fell off and one of the cousins says oh it's ma i think knows that tasha is causing a stink but it was as I walked out, the picture fell, 1331. So maybe it's the opposite. Because I wanted my tattoo not to be identical to everybody else's, I wanted to tweak it just a little bit because I want originality and I'm paying the fucking top dollar price for something that you're fucking making bank off my fucking family. So the least you can do is at least have a little fucking common sense and courtesy for me. But no, they disrespected me. So as I walked out the door, the fucking picture fell. And right away they said it was because I was making trouble when no, I was just telling the motherfucking truth and source protected me. A couple minutes later, the ride showed up to come and get me. I was fine. <laughs> Go to my client, you know, make a couple dollars. And I don't do it for the money, you know. So I sat there for a few hours with it. And I came back. I found out all of this. But I didn't really even go in, you know. I was just there for a second and my mother was leaving. So I'm like, well, I'm going to come with you. And as I'm in the car, of course, maybe I should have not. But, you know, she's jealous, right? So the whole time that I left to go and help somebody, they're talking shit about me. 
And I'm like, oh, well, that's okay. I'm sure that not all of them. I'm sure. I'm sure. And plus, it's always an ego thing, right? It's just because of the fact that they're all, you know, generic. And I'm not. <laughs> so just what it comes down to, and that's how you are. But it's just like when I was sitting here with my client, we we're talking about this Lilith, you know, and how the energies of the confidence. So this is how my source protects me, right? So I was like, I just looked at my mom and was like, well, listen, I have choices. I'm going to come back tomorrow. Okay. Cause like right now, like I'm just, I'm not gonna, not gonna do it. Like I, I'm not catering to anybody's ego and I'm going to say what I got to say. And I'm saying it like, you know, people are making money off of my grieving family. And when I said it to my mother, <laughs> like she was like, <laughs> like, Anyways, and then I looked at her like, well, you know, I could easily do this too. I could come in with my cards, you know, and say, well, I could help you. You're grieving. <laughs> like, you get the fuck out of here. Are you fucking serious? And I thought, I had to pay the top dollar. <laughs> like, I don't know, people are retarded, but. So when I had my client here before all this, like, I knew any of this, you know, this is what I'm saying. This is how Source protects us. So we are king, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a lot in the dark, guys. So I'm sitting here and we're talking about like uh, Horus and Hathor and uh, Osiris and Iris. And like after her reading, we're just talking, you know, and then I talk about um, the dark moon Lilith, you know, and how Lilith, you know, and the whole uh, Adam and Eve story and how Lilith was banned because Lilith actually had like uh, a freedom of speech and like free will and you know but Adam wanted to control and dominate and be like egotistical so Lilith said no and was banned and shunned from the garden of Eden and supposedly that's when you know he he birthed Eve from his rib because he wanted a, to be but then Lilith came and gave the knowledge, the apple, and said, listen, I'll give you fucking knowledge, girl, like, be your own person, yo, like, come on, seriously, why do you think the patriotic system alienated all females, these females were goddesses before any god it was ever, because we birthed life, yo, people don't even fucking respect the ones who are supposed to be respected, and then they think they're gonna fucking die a healthy life, or fucking live a fucking peaceful life, this is it, just peace, guys, but they're not peaceful, they're even fucking yelling in their own head sometimes, and it's like, yo, us, we yell outside, but inside, we're like, yo, it's fucked up, but it is what it is, and it's only because there's so much hidden, so when we were talking about it, I was expressing, you know, how the different, different times, you know, like how they had alienated, um, Medusa, Medusa was raped, yo, she was beautiful, she was fucking absolutely beautiful, and she was celibate, so she didn't even have sex, but they said she was a prostitute and a whore and all kinds of shit because she said no to these men, and then what happened was she was walking down the motherfucking road, and these guys had seen her, this group that she had already said no to, probably her old motherfucking friends, her old whatever, something to do with her man, and they fucking gang raped her. So she one by one individually fucking killed them, which is fucking hats off to that bitch because that's exactly the same fucking thing I would do. No shame. <laughs> None whatsoever. Because what the fuck? And then they, they, they cursed her. They said Poseidon cursed her. Like, what the fuck? That's fucked up because no, it doesn't make any sense. So why are people still staying in the patriotic system and then mad when a female is fucking more man than them? Yo, it's not your fault that you are spiritually ranked, but they're going to blame you for their problems because they can't figure it out for themselves so they're gonna be mad at you because you know how to figure it out and because you're stronger than them they want you to not invest in yourself not see yourself okay this is why you have to know who the fuck you are and at the top of the fucking pyramid scheme 
called Matrix. There's no one at the top to help the emperor or empress. Nobody. Nobody. Because everybody thinks you're too fucking strong to do the help. So what they will do is they'll come to you, but they won't actually help you when you need it. These are bad friends, guys. These are this emotional manipulative family, friends, relatives. It's irrelevant, guys. They're all upset with your motherfucking life. And they're trying to make sure that you can't do the work. But you got the sun and the motherfucking moon. You are both masculine and feminine. So in the daytime, you are very feminine. But at night, you'll rip shit up if you have to. Because you're protected. So when you're sleeping, ain't nothing gonna get through. You are a spiritual fucking gangster. That's why somebody is coming really fast towards you or you're going towards something passionately. Listen, something can't be, can't come back. Something from the past. There was a lot of celebrations because you were blocked. Because you were stuck. Because you didn't have anything. A lot of people celebrated this. It's really fucked up. But the thing is, is as they were celebrating you not having 3D, you were ganging from the 5D. And that is unpenetrable. You got out of spiritual poverty. You got out of spiritual lack. You took back your motherfucking pentacles. You took back your power. You know who you are. You have everything by yourself. And it's not because you sold out. It's because you stood in your truth. Even if you look crazy, 2121 on my clock, bitch. That's a fucking tower and a half for all those people. Because, yo, no matter what, you're still shining, bro. Shining and blinding and getting messages in. These narcissists are mad. That's your the fucking hermit or hermit is. You take new beginnings. We know we make mistakes. We know we learn every day. That's what's beautiful, guys. We have to make mistakes. We're fucking human. And that's what the, the dark feminine sits in. That acceptance and understanding that sometimes we don't make the best choices. But we do it out of, the, out of our heart. So we do it for the greater good of all. You may not, it may not make sense to you. But it makes fucking full sense to the spirit world. And that's all that motherfucking matters. The download, bitch. People need to come correct or not at all. Because you're the one who gets the downloads. You're the one who's in. And there's towers, guys. Money's not going to last long. It's the strength that lies within yourself to be able to overcome inner demons. To not be sitting in the background laughing and cheating and spying and manipulating people. And remember, when there's more than one person against you, you're already more powerful than the whole motherfucking group. Remember that. But love them still because they make you they make you strong. <laughs> they remind you how fucking powerful you are. Look at that. That that pain reminds you how powerful you are because you're the one who heals. You're the self-healer, right? You go inwards. That's why they can't fucking fuck with you. That's why they're judgment in reverse, yo. And you're sitting here with the five of cups in reverse. Like, yo, pour me another one. <laughs> I don't drink, but, you know, maybe you drink. I don't know. I was thinking more coffee, but. <laughs> For real. You're like, pour me another one. You're a fucking star. You're a star. You could be Aquarius like myself, yo. We're the stars, okay? Now, you don't have to be. Aquarius could be in any kind of part of your birth chart. But this star is a representation of internally and externally. The 5D and 3D. Okay? Understanding that we are all stars. We are all valuable. Each and every one of us. So even your haters are valuable because they make you famous. You see what I'm saying? So you always have to keep in consideration and have um, a higher perspective of things. Understanding that... By you being hated for speaking the truth because everybody else is better to cater to the facade or fagazi or the matrix, well, that's not your problem. You're just going to eliminate yourself because you are not, you're not going to step on nobody's toes and you're not willing to be stepped on either. So the best way is to just love on yourself from, you know, love from afar. That's the star, guys. That's why. You put out the burdens. Past, present, future. You know that your choices are in your hands. Why are you going to allow another person to, to hold on to you? No. Let it go. 
let it go guys i'm telling you because the moon is in motherfucking reverse now you see that right all the whole time i was in the upright i'm telling you eventually the truth gets seen boom powerhouse i'm fucking telling you the emotions get seen the truth gets seen nothing is unseen guys we got ancestors all over the place we got people talking to us constantly we're sharing energy exchange all the time so you got to protect yourself and you got to speak your motherfucking truth, not caring what the fuck everybody else thinks. Because believe me, everybody's living in their own little fucking world and that's fine. But when real life hits, you got to see, are you a sheep or are you fucking a lion? And the lions are fucking roaring, man. I got two lions in this house and I, I fucking had to, a baby with a with a Leo, he's a fucking lower vibrational Leo, but he's still a Leo, right? So whatever, we give them credit where credit is due, and even if it's not very much, I still got two motherfucking beautiful children out of that guy, like, it's the least he can do. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the moon in reverse, right? So, we go with it. We fucking roar. We speak our truth. <laughs> and we sit with that love. <laughs> somebody might love you because you're a fucking emperor who doesn't love the emperor could be an empress flip the roles but i'm telling you even if you're a female you're still sitting in that emperor energy so it's gonna be like emperor and emperor so the person that you're gonna choose to be with you're gonna have to get used to that there's no competition guys Somebody with the hidden truth that says, I feel you even though we are there apart. Now, that's why I'm saying people need to pay attention to the signs, synchronicities, what the fuck happens when you start fucking calling down names that you shouldn't be calling now. See what I'm saying? Because it happens all the time. So don't react when people mention you. Somebody doesn't react when they, men when they mention you because they know that. They know that. They know the karma that comes when people speak your name. They know look it's fucking crazy eh they don't react when people mention your name because they don't want to be tied to that karma yo i'm fucking amazingly good aren't i with my fucking downloads they feel you they know and they're like yo i know i know this girl i know what she's been through i know what she's accomplished and i know how fucking powerful you she is so or he is you better check yourself before you motherfucking wreck yourself because that bitch is just sitting pretty while her ancestors are taking care of shit so be careful because look it's a time for everyone to heal now everybody needs to heal now and that's the major fucking wake-up call that's the wake-up call heal don't fucking blame other people because they're healed and you want to stay stuck in your fucking facade brokenness. Yo, get away from your codependencies, man. Come on. Grow up. Telling other people to grow up. Why? Because I don't have financial gain like you, so I need to grow up? Okay. I'm going to go grow up over there as I've been doing. Chris Lake, you know, you really have to say it like that. Dark moon of it. Me, I just don't even, I just don't, <laughs> I don't associate. And the people who do, I do associate with, look at that. They know I'm a motherfucking chap. <laughs> they love me for me. That's why I associate with them, yo. I'm the fucking careless. I know exactly who the fuck I am. I'm a motherfucking celebrity, or as my ex-fiance would say, infamous. Whatever the fuck you want to call me, I'm going to fuck what the fuck you call me. I'm me. <laughs> And you, you got achievements, guys. And look, these fucking people are going to talk shit against you. But you're like, okay, hmm? say less. Peace. <laughs> like, I heard you the first time. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, your feelings aren't hurt. No, not one bit. Mm -mm. Why? <laughs> because you know you. You know you. Look, 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 look. They want you in poverty. And you ain't lacking shit. Not a fucking thing. When you need it, you get it. That's why I said, source protected me t today. Just like, not really, because I, I love my family. I'm going to go see them tomorrow.
you know, so it was just like a little thing. But with this story, I'm elaborating, you know, further. This poverty, like mindset, it, it is like people will will look up to somebody who has more money, um, somebody who is more established, but they're not going to really look into that person's heart and what they choose to do. That's what matters. And you ain't you ain't lacking shit. You ain't missing shit. Because when you need it, it's there. That's what's beautiful. Because you do what's right and it's not for the money. It's for the respect. So you're fucking right if you don't get the respect, you're like Say less, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, like you know, if you don't play, like you don't fucking go respect yourself somewhere else. Remember, if somebody disrespects you, treat yourself ten times better, okay? <laughs> because yo, they don't mean shit. You're a fucking fucking performer, yo. They really think they're gonna fucking put you in poverty when you you're just like you're just you're just an entrepreneur. You just can get it out right of the mud. Like, you got so many different fucking talents that, you know, you can just, you know, switch it up tomorrow and choose to fucking do anything. This is what's beautiful. But the fact is, is that you don't may not have as much resources to do these things. That's where people try to keep you stuck so they don't make sure that you're not working and this and that. But it's not about money. So as you're not working and, you know, you're learning how to really cut back and live less, you're gaining so much knowledge, so much lessons, so much understanding. You're able to see things. You're able to take time to address and sit with yourself. People really take for granted all these things that I'm talking about because they're so much into everybody else. And then they have a nerve to go and gaslight you and say that you are about everybody else when you're always by yourself and you choose that because you don't associate yourself with the herd. You won't. So you don't, don't, you are not with the herd. Because the herd is talking about people behind people's backs. And then they turn around and talk about that person. And turn around and talk about this person. Yo, man. It's a fucking shame. <laughs> and then when it comes to face to face, they're like, no, I'm your best motherfucking friend. It's like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And it says I was a distraction. Yeah, a lot of people are trying to distract you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So somebody, are, a lot of people are trying to distract you. So you stay in the pain. Okay? Look, it's the devil. He wants to be charitable. So you got to be careful, okay? Who you're allowing, who you're getting from and stuff. Or, you know, who you're giving to. Take it as it resonates, guys. Because there's some kind of energy work here. Now, a lot of people know that you're extremely generous with your time, with your resources. That your children are probably very gifted. Or, you know, you have a very gifted family. Take it as it resonates. Put yourself where you belong, you know. Most of us have all been born in very narcissistic families. So we learn through the trials and errors that it's not their fault. They don't know no fucking better. We didn't know no better until we chose. It's a choice. People choose to stay blindfolded. They really like that. It's better for them. It's easier for them. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new opportunities. New paths are now available to you. So follow it. See? It's Dark Moon Lilith. You don't give a fuck about these motherfucking bitches in the back. And you're like, bitch, please. You fucking don't even like yourself. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I'm looking, you're manifesting miracles. You're like, peace. The past, the past. I'm going to leave you right there. Say less. <laughs> and then you're manifesting miracles as soon as you cut these fucking low lives off or whomever is leeching off your energy or calling it on the background not understanding who the fuck you are like take it as it resonates guys but your dreams is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow it with guidance just keep following your heart man i promise you this is why you're happy okay look all naked and shit all by yourself, yo. It looks like me on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> if you could do anything, what would it be? The answers dwell in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the motherfucking soul. Like I just said, yo. See? 
You just sitting there, bear ass. You don't give a fuck your motherfucking star. <laughs> you better like me, bear. And if you don't like me, well, I want them all dressed up. I'll be real fucked up. <laughs> Cause yo, that's just a bit too much. You're manifesting miracles. I'm telling you. And it's all because you chose yourself. And it says, look deep within your heart and you will feel me, my love. For my love is as deep as the ocean. Okay? Source loves you because you're honest. You're authentic. Your heart is there. You're really walking the fuck away from the past and just being like, listen, we all cheat, choose. You chose. I choose. We all get to choose. People can be salty all they want, guys. We all have a choice. We all live our own lives. Yep, yep, yep. And all my cards are all over the floor, so this juice wants to talk. These cards are screaming. It's gonna be juicy. Wow, somebody's on the DL. <laughs> oh my god. Out of all those cards that fell on my ground, the fucking the one that's looking right up at me is the DL. Now this doesn't have to be like actual like male on male, woman on woman kind of thing. It could just be on the DL like they're talking behind your back. Like but in your face. It's like in your face, they want, they're your friend, but the whole time they're talking behind your back, you know? They think they can take your place. Two love wins, guys. You're fucking, oh my God. This is not going to win. This is just fucking hexing your motherfucking self. You know, like um, magic, okay? It's not just like cooking up shit in the kitchen or like fucking lighting a candle or I don't know what the fuck, but it's not just that, okay? It's, it's also sending evil eyes or cursing somebody like, oh, you're never going to be anything or, you know, you wish you were all that. And like stupid things like this inevitably comes back right away, especially under this fucking dark moon. Like, people are not understanding, so as much as they're trying to send and hex you and do some stupid shit, all they're doing is they're doing that to themselves. This is why we have to be like, yo, I know me and I'm a fucking chill the fuck out, yo, Sagittarius. Now, the Sagittarius at the highest vibration is the temperance angel. The Sagittarius at the lower vibration is very, 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 very egocentric. Okay, so put yourself where you belong. But you're chilling. This person doing too much. <laughs> My guys are talking. I told you they want to fucking talk. You're self made. Somebody's doing way too much because you're self made, so they're trying to hex you. That's why you're putting your motherfucking feet up. You're smoking your fucking joints if you smoke joints. Because you're the temperance angel. I just fucking said that. And you're. And in cycles, you're going to go see the world if that's what you want because you're balanced. Mind, body, and soul, and you're fucking, you're changed. Now you're changing these people on the DL, man. I'm not fucking kidding. So you might have somebody who was gay and wants to be on you. Like, that's pretty cool. I don't know. Like, fuck, I don't know. Hey, if it's honest and he says, yo, I was gay and uh, I don't want to be gay. I want to be on you. Well, that's fucking attractive as fuck. Like, whatever. But there's that energy, vampires, yo, and people... Whatever. They try to take you out. I'm fucking stupid and doing way too fucking much, yo. You're, you're fucking moving on. You're moving on and because you choose to move on, because you have choices of press. Pressed under this new moon Leo. Now, it could be a Leo's press, man. Fuck, I don't know, but there is game over. You fuck with a temperance age, you got game over, guys. Because whatever's in the moon, in the dark, emotions, anything, it's all... You're, you're seeing everything. You're seeing everything. And somebody's feeling a little bit foolish. Needs to stop right the fuck now. Wait the fuck now, because these karmics are cheaters, and they're they're mad because you're getting a victory in the spirit world, and they can't fucking, you know, they can't hold a light to you. Like, no matter how much money they make, you're still shining brighter than them. <laughs> it doesn't matter, because you're strong. You got that fucking heart. <gasps> you got the lion heart, yo. I'm not even joking. You got that lion heart. They're, they're fucking sex magic and manipulation. They don't fucking sleep. They can't. Oh, my God. This is the kind of shit. But look, God is blinding this fucking stuff. And Jezebel's spirit's not gonna work, sweetheart. Go sit the fuck back down over there. Take several motherfucking seats. Because, yo, you're just all full of lust and sex and all that shit. And you can project all that stuff all you want. But, guy, girl, the love is the love. <laughs> 
Home is home. The sun is the sun. Enlightenment to motherfucking enlightenment. Who is who is what is what? <laughs> I kill myself sometimes, y'all. I'm fucking killing it. Look, these motherfucking scandals are being seen. Yo, the scandals are being seen. <laughs> and Tasha's killing it under this dark moon right now. Yeah, and see? It's killing it with the downloads. <laughs> fucking telling you you get the downloads about these scandals you fucking call up people out and whether they like it or not they're still watching and stalking you because they know your truth these bad friends these bad families they're fucking fake yo they're fucking hating on you because that's all return back to sender right away bitch watch <laughs> Because there's a full moon coming up too, yo, and it's divine timing. I told you 10 10 that fucking shit starts spinning. Doors are opening for you, so the world's fucking spinning because you use the tools. You got the pure heart, you got the lion soul, and you got this twin flame energy soul ascension in the summertime. You own that full moon, it's gotta be lit. Divine timing. Somebody's got their tail between their legs. Could be a Leo, take it as it resonates. Why? Because, yo, the injustice that was done. What the fuck you think? What the fuck, man? People think they can get away with this fucking deceitful motherfucking energy? When you got fucking, you know thyself, you are a temple of path, you love yourself, and God fucking protects you. I don't give a fuck if people don't believe in a higher power, yo. You want to fucking be in this demonic, this distortive kind of energy and not believe in the higher source well you're just gonna fucking curse yourself even more man that's fucking damn to be talking shit in the background about people who are fucking really shining bright yo and it's dark i don't care push through your any insecurities and take time to breathe out exactly guys you're pushing through all these insecurities guys check that out new moon in cancer and uh what is that called uh disseminating Disseminating? What's that? Oh, it's like, I don't know, moving away or something. Anyways, it says take time out, okay? So you're breathing. You're like, listen, I'm going to push back. <laughs> like, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to push back. I'm just going to push back. Why? Because you're revealing what needs to be motherfucking seen. Look what that says. New moon in Scorpio. Uh, last quarter moon in Scorpio. So you're pushing back because you need you're revealing what needs to be seen. It needs to be seen. So you're doing what you need to do. Congratulations. And what's these ones? Showing the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. We just fucking left that. We just got out of this full moon in Aquarius. And you showed the world the real you. You ain't turning back. You're bare ass. You're fucking star, man. It says star. You are part. You're part of the star family, guys. 42, 42 on my clock. You are part of a team of souls. Time to call them in, guys. Remember, shine your light. Be authentic. You got the sun and the moon protecting you. But here, the sun is in the upright. The moon is in reverse. But you're still fucking there. And you're still protected. Masculine and feminine. Somebody is protecting you in the spirit realm and somebody is protecting you in the 5D because there is a lot of motherfucking spiritual warfare, but it's only because of your light. So remember that. Like, ain't got shit on you. Ain't got shit on you. Trust all is well. Look, ain't got shit on you. Look at this. Trust all is well. What else is here? Trust all is well. Your commitment is being tested and meditate and contemplate. So your commitment is being tested with source, okay? So yes, you're, people are trying to distract you. You're like, oh, whatever. So I'm just going to meditate, contemplate. I know my I know my energy and I know it's not because I've been doing this for a long time. Like, you, you check it. You, you, I need to push back. You reveal what needs to be seen. Number 20. Number 20 reduces down to a two, guys, that five of cups. It's a two of cups, guys. You got the two of cups internally. You ain't dwelling on nobody's fucking spilt ass mouth. You can't do, can't do nothing about that. Yo, what the fuck? It says the sound of the inner sea. <laughs> Rest, meditate, and stop. There is a period in your life when you need to withdraw. Rest, sleep, meditate, and give yourself some rejuvenation. Take a look at what you've been currently doing. How busy is your light of late? Give yourself permission to stop and reflect. Time out... To do what you choose to do, step out of the rat race for a day or two, even a few hours. If it's not possible, just breathe. 
Nurturing yourself is important at this time. If you feel it is an indulgent task, then think again. In this moment, the most important person is you. There is no need to answer to other people's demands. You must put boundaries in place and before you burn yourself out. Take heed to this card. You must rest and take deep sleep. Do not feel guilty for taking breathing space. Like I said, man, what the fuck? You don't fucking apologize for shit like that. Not at all. Not at all. You are definitely cut from a different kind of cloth, guys, okay? So remember that. You are the dopest and you know it. That's what I just wrote here a while ago. Like, you are the dopest and you know it. So you're doing the right thing. And just because there's a lot of people around you um, doing the same thing does not mean that that's the right thing to do, okay? So remember that, please, okay? And just because... You f love somebody doesn't mean that you have to say yes to them. If it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel right. You got to say something, okay? And you have to watch and see the consequences around you because you're going to see the signs and synchronicities. There is no such thing as coincidence, guys. Please understand that. There's major ultimate betrayals all around the board, but when you know thyself, you're not butthurt about this because you know inevitably shit comes out. I love you guys. God, creator, source, Sugoi Dizu, Ra, whoever you believe in, whatever you believe in. Motherfucking aliens, I'm telling you guys, I'm serious. They're shining light on the truth, on these deceptive, deceitful energies that are smug, being, you know, judgy. <laughs> laughing at you when they refuse to look in the mirror. Yo, people got so much fucking, so much shit hidden in their motherfucking closets that that's their fucking problem, yo. <laughs> you gotta, you know, you gotta keep on stepping because some time is definitely slipping for someone, you know? So I love you guys. I hope this resonated. I hope this gave you some clarity tonight, help you on this journey. I had a lot of fun reading this. Because I love these kind of energies when it's Dark Moon Lilith. Because, yo, even these haters, they know you're a fucking shit. You're too legit to quit, yo, Gemini. Now, it could be somebody wearing a mask. It could be a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. It could be your twin. But there's a fresh new start here. New beginnings, guys, with Natasha's T messages. But it says be careful of what you tell people. That infinity sky, guys. Okay? What you put out, you get back. Be careful because some people, they're going to use you to gain something okay like they're gonna manipulate you they just want to know things about you so they can use it against you or so that this way they know what to block okay so and uh, know when to walk away and when to stand up for injustice never get taken advantage of and stay authentic this is the dark moon lilith this is the new moon energy i love you guys i'll put all my information at the bottom but i'm gonna end it here okay Know when to walk away. And watch your motherfucking back. Always be prayed up and strapped, guys. I love you. If you're feeling generous, I'll put all my information at the bottom. Okay, guys? I love you, and I'll see you later. <laughs>